this lesson we will take a look at the shading tree in Modo and um, as you can see I've imported the rest of my model here um, and as you, well if you haven't got anything selected then it will or well it'll be in wireframe if you press O and we go to active meshes or inactive meshes make inactive same as active there we go and then it should uh, has, um, show everything shaded like we see and our wireframe is very visible so we go to active meshes and we change that to well two percent or something and then we can see something okay as you can see some of our displacements is going on other meshes as well and um, let's go to our not our paint and sculpt but our render and I've set our uh, the renderer to post right now so it doesn't update completely the whole time so uh, I talked a little bit about this uh, render tree in the last lesson and it's important to know that it works uh, very much like Photoshop so every uh, it works from the ground to the top so this one is under this one is under this one and uh, if we take a look at um, our face for instance it is uh, it doesn't have a, sh uh, a shader yet and uh, leg shader is very high up so if we lower that uh, and we set it to just the legs in the group then it won't interfere with the rest and we can do the same for the dress shader we set it for just dress low and the ground for just base ground and that way our displacements won't interfere with the other models and the tentacles can probably go and go only to tentacles there we go okay so now we don't have any weird displacements going on in places where we don't want it and um, also you can see that I got some glossy rubber and beige high beige high gloss plastic and blue LED um, which I'm not really using at the moment so, um, for instance I'll show you um, we'll go and we'll select our extra pieces and we'll select these I'm gonna go to faces extra pieces and we want these faces and we select material and then from our drop down here we do blue LED press OK then it's assigned as you can see um, you can assign to just faces whatever it is uh, or you know part of the of the object it works a bit different than in Maya and um, how this works is that with when you install Modo it will let you install um, a bonus pack which has a lot of starting materials for you uh, so I got this one from the LEDs which have um, if you look here uh, are we in the oh wait if we go to the material uh, what it has is that it's in the material trans transparency it has luminosity and the intensity is set and the color is set so it will actually emit light so there is a lot of different materials here a lot of metals with um, uh, texture set and you can just use those to get a starting point and get some really nice effect like straight out of the box really easy uh, let's say we want to make this thing of grass we'll just select it and we'll drag the grass on and there it is it's made of grass and your material will show up here moss uh, 0.2.0 xp and it's that easy um, so we we want to press m for material blue lead and we got like a nice blue lead uh, assigned to it and um, yeah so what else can we say about this um, so if we 
look a little well we can delete the mo uh, moss because oh because we not going to use a moss share there uh, uh why didn't that delete i thought you would uh, just here we go delete it so if we for instance look in our tentacle shader it's got displacement and uh, just a simple material with um, there's the diffuse amount this is how much of the diffuse color you see diffuse color itself diffuse roughness the rougher it is the more it will become like a, a very very rough lambert uh, you can press conserve energy which will um, balance your um, your diffuse and your specular um, and uh, you can set your Fresnel, your specular color, your specular roughness, your anisotropy. Uh, anisotropy? Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> and you can even add a UV map to that. Um, and you can match the reflection to, the, to your specular. They're um, separated here. Uh, so you can set specular even though you don't have reflection. And in the real world, that wouldn't work that way because reflection is a specular is reflection in the real world uh, it's just a reflection of uh, your light source uh, you can set your fresnel your reflection color reflection type uh, how many reflection rays you have and you can give your material uh, a clear coat uh, in modo you have like uh, your super material so this can do everything basically uh, and then you have some um, some extra materials like uh, skin shader so if we select the head and we just select that whole thing press m for material and we add like a well we'll just make a new one make a head shader and we'll make it a little bit like i don't know a little bit skin colored Let's see, it should be more. Oh, it's not too bad. Go there. Okay. And turn down the specularity a bit. There we go. Uh, so, what you can do is then you add a layer, a little bit like Photoshop, and we can add like a skin material in there, uh, which would, if we. update our rendering we should be able to see it straight away and it's the settings are completely wrong at the moment so we can just uh, add the diffuse amount up that diffuse amount and as you can see it, you can it's really easy to shade in here as uh, you can see updates straight away in your viewport and even if it's not you know it's a bit blocky to begin with it'll uh, update pretty quickly to a nice image with uh, occlusion and everything and displacement and i think that's a huge step up so um, we can just tweak our shader here and 